James Cook, the famous British explorer, is credited for introducing Britain to New Zealand, Australia, and Hawaii. Oh, no, 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're probably wondering, how did I get into this mess? Well, let's go and have a look, or as some people say, a Captain Cook. Oh, 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 no! I'm Brian Pilchard, and I love history. Using my skills in effects, clothes, and disguises, I'm gonna take you on a journey back in time for an adventure in super history! 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 history. history. James Cook was born in the North Riding of Yorkshire on the 7th of November, 1728. When he was 16, he moved to Staves, a fishing village. He was a shop boy and apprentice to haberdasher and grocer William Sanderson. How am I doing? <laughs> 18 months later, he travelled to Whitby, a port town. And this is where James Cook became an apprentice in the Merchant Navy. During his three-year apprenticeship, he learnt trigonometry, geometry, algebra, navigation and astronomy. He passed his examinations in 1752 and progressed quickly through the Merchant Navy ranks. Cook married Elizabeth Batts in 1762. She was younger than that. Uh, that's her later in life. They were married for 16 years, but only spent four of them together. By 1755, he was offered his own command. I quit. Would you like a career in the Royal Navy? Oh, no way. Oh, would you like a career in the Royal Navy? Oh, no. G'day, I'd like to join the Navy. Oh, you know, it's not very good. Yeah, I know, it's pretty harsh. Yeah, cool, I'm in. Right, right. Oh! Cook then served as an able seaman on the HMS Eagle. James Cook was promoted to boatswain by the end of 1755. It's a bit like a deck management role. In 1757, Cook became a ship's master. Yes, the ship's navigator. What's this amazing device? This tool here is a plain table. This one isn't, it's a piece of wood with a piece of cardboard sticky tape to the top. But it's one of the many tools you're gonna use for mapping the coast. Here's another one, it's called a quadrant. Well this isn't, it's a paper mache cone. And you'll also be using this K1 chronometer. This one's not a K1 chronometer, this is a this is a banana sticky tape to a cardboard tube. James Cook mapped Newfoundland in the 1760s. His maps were so accurate they were used for the next 200 years. Cook vowed to go farther than any man has gone before me. And as far as I think it's possible for a man to go. With the backing of Edward Hawke, the first Lord of the Admiralty from 1768 to 1771, and who was succeeded by Lord Sandwich, Cook set off on his first voyage. Is he the man who invented the sandwich? Um, could you imagine how funny it would be if instead of getting an actor to play Lord Sandwich, you just had a sandwich with googly eyes? He was promoted to Lieutenant. His mission was to sail to Tahiti and observe the transit of Venus. Right, that's that, let's go. He then looked at sealed orders to search for signs of the great southern continent, Terra Australis. Oh, sorry. The ship Cook commanded was the HMS Endeavour. The type of ship was known as a Whitby Cat, a three-masted 30-metre cargo ship. The idea was that it could hold plenty of provisions and a crew of 94. On these journeys of discovery, it was expected for the crew to die. The main cause was scurvy, caused by a lack of vitamin C. 
To overcome this, James Cook made sure there was plenty of sauerkraut for the crew to eat. He was even awarded the Copley Gold Medal for finishing his second voyage without one man dying to scurvy. I've actually got some sauerkraut that I'm going to try. Hmm, it's interesting. <laughs> 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 You know, it's actually not too bad. Cook sailed to New Zealand and managed to map the entire coastline. Cook was the first European to communicate with the Maori people. And as a result, at least eight were killed. Cook then travelled west and reached Australia. On the journey was famous botanist Joseph Banks, who not only collected plant samples, but a Tahitian priest named Tupaya. <laughs> People, plants, what's the difference? <laughs> On the 29th of April, 1770, the Endeavour landed at Botany Bay. In the process, they shot and wounded some opposing locals. Banks collected many samples. Cook and the crew then travelled up the coast. Oh, he looks after us sailors, that James Cook. He's my favourite historic character. I like the nude hose downs. He's not in it for the prize money like most captains. He's in it for the love of the game. The nude hose downs are good too. Disaster struck when they struck the Great Barrier Reef. Badly damaged ship almost sunk. Once they had limped the ship to shore, it took seven weeks to repair. After further exploration and a nail-biting trip through the shallow waters of the Torres Straits, they set off for England. On the 22nd of August 1770, James Cook controversially claimed the chartered area's British territory. Miraculously, Cook lost no one to disease because of his obsession with hygiene. The nude hose downs. Until they restocked their water at a Dutch port. One of the barrels was infected, and because of this, only a third of the crew made it home. Goodbye! You were my favourite! I'm gonna miss the nude hose downs! They returned to England on the 12th of July, 1771. Back home, Joseph Banks pushed for Botany Bay to become a British outpost. To commemorate the 250th anniversary of the first voyage, paint was thrown on Cook's statue. Had Banks kept his fame, his statue probably would have had paint on it too. Too bad, Jimmy boy. <laughs> Cook was promoted to commander and then put in charge of another voyage to find Terra Australis. They thought it was south of the parts of Australia Cook had already mapped. Don't know why we're bothering. Two ships were sent out. James Cook's ship, the HMS Resolution, and the HMS Adventure, commanded by Tobias Furnix. In their search for Terra Australis, they didn't find it, and ended up in the Arctic Circle. The Adventure got lost, and sailed home. No, this is getting silly. We're going back. And Cook almost encountered the mainland of Antarctica. It's freezing. We're going. No, that's it. Too cold. On their way home, they kept exploring and discovered many places, including the South Sandwich Islands of Hawaii. Yeah, a bit short on gags. On his completion of the mission, Cook had proved the Terra Australis speculation wrong. He was promoted to post captain and got a retirement job at the Greenwich Hospital. He liked it so much, he jumped at the chance to lead a third voyage. The third voyage started in 1776. His mission to find the Northwest Passage. We're in a bit of a rush. Are you sure the ship is ready? Ah, she's in cheap shape, mate. It just looks a bit rubbish. 
There were two ships, the Resolution and the Discovery. Cook explored and mapped the majority of the North American Northwest coastline. After exploring the Siberian coast, he set sail for the Sandwich Islands in Hawaii. He began to show signs of stress. Oh God, here he goes again. I actually think the guy is a genius. Cook landed at Kila Kikua Bay. Welcome. And stayed for a month. Really getting sick of this guy. When setting off to do more exploring, the resolution's foremast broke. So he went back to Hawaii to repair the ship. Ah, oh, he's back. Cook was the first European to make formal contact with the Hawaiian people. As a result, tensions rose. You know, there's plenty of wood around here, and he chooses to get the wood from the burial ground. This went from bad to worse when one of Cook's longboats was taken. Cook had a plan to kidnap the king so he could trade him later. On the 14th of February, 1779, Cook put his plan into action. You'll accompany us for a walk back to the boat. Sounds a bit odd, but yeah, I'll come along. Ah, uh, they've taken the bloody chief. We're just going for a bit of a walk. Nothing sinister. You're not in trouble. Boo! Give him back. Mate, you give our chief back. Okay, just make your way to the boats. Give him back! Calm down, calm down. Ah. Ah. This is getting out of hand. Fire! Just giving you a bit of a hit there. Yep, nothing sinister. Yep, you're not in trouble. Yep. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up and also if you could share it with your friends and to our patrons thank you for helping us produce this video you really make it possible to have model ships uh, uniforms uh, the whole lot we've also got a merchandise shop thanks for watching